Uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Hopefully, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who are still here, I welcome you and apologize for no video on Saturday like I usually have. Uh, for those of you who are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jack. I'm an entrepreneur in training, uh, attempting to start my own tabletop cafe. Uh, so this channel is going to be primarily focused on tabletop get on tabletop gaming and caf uh, and all the likes and cafe sort of features of coffee and media and all that such yeah i know we haven't really touched upon the cafe thing and i apologize for that i'm still kind of try figuring out how to go about that so i do apologize hopefully some more cafe-esque videos soon but i digress the reason i had no video on saturday is because well i really had nothing to offer on saturday I didn't want to just pick up a camera and talk for no reason for 20 minutes. But um, uh, I do, however, have something good today called a little treat. Uh, I went to Wal made a trip to Walmart yesterday, and I picked up some new um, uh, fresh Yu-Gi-Oh product. So I thought we'd take a look at those. Uh, obviously, going to make two separate videos just because of how little time I have on my camera. So we're going to take a look at the Dual Overload box. And the new Mechanized Madness Structure Deck. Of them, uh, probably going to record both today, but you'll probably see this next week. Mainly because I'm just so excited to open this up and I really want to share this. Um, this was, um, uh, originally donated by, um, uh, donated. it was a gift from my friend, uh, Tim. He's going to be, I was super grateful that he grabbed me a copy of this, but, um, uh, He's going to be one of our team. He's going to be one of the people I go to locals with, so you will be seeing him soon. I was hoping I'd be doing the unboxing with him today, but I didn't really get to see it. But I don't get to see him, unfortunately. So we're just going to be so super grateful for this. I'm going to tag him on Facebook along with the rest of the guys that we're going to be going to locals with. Uh, Tim, my friends Timothy, Garrett, Peter, uh, and uh, Alex and Julian. Like I said, you're all going to see them soon, hopefully when this corona's over, or sooner, hopefully, if I get to see them. Uh, we'll be doing a video of us training for the locals meetup. But, I digress. Today we're going to be opening up Dual Overload. Now, there is a cat. Oh, stupid camera. Now, there is a catch. Let me just grab my... Good time to grab my... Trusty Magic the Gathering card stand, uh, camera stand. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So there is a catch to this that obviously I have to, um, uh, the catch is that I owe him needle fiber if I pull it. Yeah, I know it's got an English name, I, I don't care. It's, it's always going to be needle fiber for the rest of its life. So, uh, let's begin. Uh, obviously, the dual overload box I think looks really nice, especially with the designs on the back there. But so this box comes with some really cool stuff. Um, there's actually a couple cards I'm really excited and I'm hoping I pull here. Um, if I can, you know, get this open. Where are my keys? I'm gonna use my keys. Yeah, I even got my thing from Pack. Got this at PAX East when they were talking about the new Final Fantasy game. Damn, you do not want to open. There we go. I should hopefully open the whole thing. Now, this thing comes with six dual overload booster packs and a a sizable card based off of the manga. I always love the Konami wrapping paper. I gotta point that out on like new Yu-Gi-Oh sets so they have it like this. And oh dear. I apologize for that. I hope it wasn't doing that for a long time. I hope it wasn't block camera wasn't blocked for a long time. Yeah this is annoying. My camera keeps sliding. I apologize for that. But anyway, I just love the Konami-themed wrapping paper. I think it looks fantastic. 
Uh, in case of how much got blocked there, showed off the box a little bit. And I apologize for that, folks. That... So let's get into this. And like I said, this has six dual overload booster packs and a card based off of the manga. So very excited to finally have a look at inside of this. Before we get into the big juicy stuff, I think I'm going to show you guys my, the oversized card. Comes in the, wow, I love the, I love the way they set this up. That looks fantastic. I think that looks so cool. Uh, I'm just going to throw this somewhere. Let's have a look at our oversized card. The Dark Magicians. Once per turn, if a spell trap card effect is activated, except during the damage step, uh, you can draw one card, then if it was a spell trap, you can set it. Then if it was a spell trap, you can set it, and if it was a trap or quick play spell, you can activate it this turn. If this card is destroyed, you can special summon both one Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl from your hand, deck, and or graveyard. And that's the card. It's uh, That's the mega version of the card. Hopefully I get lucky and pull this. I know this card looks really cool, honestly. Like, I'm excited for that. Okay, I'm going to try something different with this card. That'll work better. I don't know how much you can see. Oh, you can see quite a bit. Let's begin with our dual overload packs. We have six to pull from. Now, there's a couple cards I'm excited for. Obviously, my friend wants the. Obviously, Tim's getting my um, uh, the copy of um, uh, I'm gonna start with my five headed dragon pack. Actually, I'm gonna save that for last. That was the pack I was the most excited about. I kept joking about it. We're gonna start right here. Each pack contains five cards. I believe the box said. And let's get into this. Um, I'm I'm very excited for the um, uh, for this set. Uh, two cards I'm very excited for was obviously he won needle fiber, and I'm very excited for a the new relinquish support. I think the new relinquish looks really cool. All right, let's begin with a copy of Raid Raptor Wise Strix. Uh, Giga Plant. Uh, Kenny Spirits. Uh, can't read that right here. Um, yeah, Sahasara, or something along those lines. Bloom Harm Noise, the Melodious Composer, and Malefic Paradox Gear. Ooh, so we have some uh, Malefic support. I did not realize we were getting that. Next, you know what? I'm seeing good signs from Infinity over here. I'm going to open you next. Let's begin, shall we? Malefic Sector. Ferocious Flame Swordsman? Oh, that's cool. That was one of the cards I was, like, low-key hoping for. Like, okay, I don't care if I don't get it, but it's cool. Mecha Phantom Beast. Magic for Magician... Magic Formula. I don't actually know what this does. Equip to only Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. Gain 700 attack. This card sent from the field to the graveyard. Gain 1,000 life points. That's a little good, cool little card. And Vanity's Ruler. Okay, I'll definitely make sure to read all those later because I don't actually know a lot of those cards off the top of my head. Like, I know the Paradox Gear. Next. Oh dear, sorry about that. Oops, let me finish opening this pack and I'll fix the camera. Jeez, we're big on technical difficulties today. Stay tuned. Oh. I'll see if I can't edit this out later. Anyway, 
let's begin. Let's continue. Uh, Hollow Giants. Mystic Sign. Or Hysteric Sign. Uh, Divinity, the Orcrust of the Evening Star. Scrap Orthros. And throw the Bird of Sovereignty. I probably butchered the hell out of that pack. I was too busy focusing on the camera. Come on. Come on. I need to pull that Relinquish monster. I really care about that. Uh, Biss Actor. Another Hollow Giants. Oh! Predaplan, Verte, Anaconda. I believe that I, we were looking at... Oh. Well, you got an up close view. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, new plan. Now, I believe that Verte Anaconda is a um, uh, $30 card. I was a um, uh, might be a $20 card. I'm not quite sure off top of head. Um, no, it's worth a little more money, but that's a that's definitely a cool pull. I'm happy about that. Um, one Digust Emerald and Card of Fate. Second to last pack, folks. Come on. Let's see if we can't pull some. Let's see if we can't get that relinquished. Let's see. Here. Number 27. Dark Anthelin Dragon. Celestial Knights Parsath. I definitely did not pronounce that right. Digust Emerald and Card of Fate. The very last pack, that five headed dragon pack. I was having good signs about this, folks. Come on. Part of the cards. Let's get that. Needle Fiber Relinquished. Enema's Judgment. Don't know what you do. Deck Locked Down. Ugh. Cyber Emergency. Ooh. I really like this card. I love this card. I've been playing with that a little bit online. Uh Kigyo Sukai and DDD Abyss King Gilgamesh Mesh. All right. So, I wouldn't say it was the luckiest thing in the I wouldn't say that was the luckiest dual overload in the world uh, we definitely got some a couple good cards over that like we got the new preda plant and cyber emergency of um uh, uh preda plant basically is awesome for any fusion deck or any deck that uses fusion of any sort cyber emergency just searches out a cyber any cyber dragon so I'm re like I said, both of those are really fun cards. I've been playing around with these a little bit online. And I'm definitely excited to get both, like especially the Verte Anaconda. That card is so expensive online. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you in the next video where we open up the. Uh, where is it? Uh, hope to see you next week for the opening of Mechanized Madness. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good one.